watching a little bit. The camera's looking funny, but apart from that, he's looking goaded. I love I love the camera, man. He's so funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's so funny, man. Is it? He's flashing a little bit. I uh, know. We'll have to see if we can get that camera sorted. Samuel yeah. versus Sam. There we go. He's fighting Damn. his inner demons. Exactly. Happens. Steve players be like that sometimes. They just yeah, go nah, fight them, nah, nah, the, exactly. the demons inside themselves. I'm just starting this one off right away. And also make sure I have the chat up for you guys. Hello, hello, hello. I love it. I love it. Let's get this one going. First match. Karasem. On small battlefield. I rate it. I rate the pick. I'm not going to lie. I think a uh, very good save for both players. But also, like... The same way that like uh, people from America and the states will say like, oh, PS2 is just like a, oh no, never mind. He's the same way that. people say like PS2 is like the go-to stage for so many people in the states and like uh, as, outside of Japan, mm -hmm. that's what small battlefield is in Japan. Everybody goes here. Of course. So. Yeah, a little bit less space, a little bit small blast zones on each side. I think less less gimp ability. You know, no no one falling out of the lip of the PS2 stage. So yeah. both these players are going to play this one perfectly. And I like that uh, Samuel is opting to just use the one block. You can set up three blocks, but it leaves a lot of your resources to Kara not going to come back from that spike. He knows that all he really needs to set up is that one block to stop to Kara from running in and then using tilts. It forces to Kara to have to jump in. And if you're jumping in on Steve, backers come and swinging at you. Exactly. Right now, collapsed Takara already in percent. Let's see if Brody can make it back. Obviously, Takara, no introduction needed. One of the best Kens in the world. Mm -hmm. Best Ken in the world. world 100% in Japan, Japan, and I would bet to say it in the world. Exactly. And Samuel bring the heat right now. You gotta respect it. Mm -hmm. It's just as you said, he's like an entire stock ahead at the moment. I feel like Takara's just been really struggling to find find openings where he can get a hit that actually confirms into something. He's getting a lot of strays, oh but he's not actually able to combo which is something that you don't want to hear as the Ken player. You need to be hitting all of your confirms. Gets that crane kick through, though. Shield looking low. Oh, yeah. Sam's just going to take a break yeah, on the side. Have a breather. Yeah, oh. Nice. Damn, that shit is immediate though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Able to get him catching in. Going to get that strong elbow into the big hits. Just carrying not out of this one just yet. The parries have started up as well. Maybe he just needed one little stock to warm up. And then once he was once he was ready for go. I did take him off his friendly setup like a couple of minutes ago. I feel kind of bad about that. He was like, wait, are we starting already? And we're starting now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. This one's getting high. We've got a lot of matches to get through today. Unlike uh, your, your your summits. This one's only a, a two dare. So, plenty of events going on here around Japan. This year. We could only have the two days. We're going to have to get through all these matches pretty oh. quick. But this one going slow. I like that he cancels on the blocks. It's something that Ken has access to, or all the FTCs have access to. They can hit the blocks and then cancel it into other moves, just like if they were hitting the opponent. Yeah. Also, well, have we introduced Steve to the audience? I mean, he's one of the... He's the only sort of, like... I want to say Steve player. He's the only Steve player here. Mm -hmm. So One of a kind. Exactly. And uh, he's one of Canada's best... Steve's. Oof. Doesn't matter how good of a Steve you are, as long as Takara's getting his elbow in your face. I'm sure he's going to come in after. Going to take that stock on a nice low percent. Takara in the lead for the first time in this match now. Samuel's going to have to find a way to take the stock, though. He's already built up the percent that he needs. He has the right tools. He just has to find the place to use him. Gets that down there. We're back to even match. This is where it gets a little bit scary for Takara. Already 49% on him. Make that 58, but manages to go through the focus. 37. Brings it back. Oh, no. It's a scary position for Sammy right now. He has zero resources in the bar. You have to try and build something. Maybe use that one block mind strategy that you had before. But Takara is really putting the impression on now. He sees how little you have. There's only one mine cart, one anvil left. I love that back air. See, this is where it gets a little scary. Yeah, Let's mine, go! Mine, 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 mine. And that's how you know oh, yeah. this tournament <laughs> is serious. We are camping on the side yeah. of the ledge. Let's go. Let him rock. Let him rock. Go. Oh, no. Should have kept Never camping. Mind. Never mind. Still alive, though. Keeping this one on lock. Just one more ledge trap though that Takara has to keep down. He's really keeping the pressure on. Gets it down to us in the round. Oh, still, still not limited. enough. Should have gone for that show, you buddy. Oh, oh wait, hold up. No, not enough end lag on that one to punish. Samuel's moment comes in. There comes Takara though. Really committing to that up smash there. Thought he would have enough time to catch Takara out of it, but sadly, not the case. Top player, mindset pulling through. Especially those super clutch time scenarios Takara's known mm -hmm. for closing those out. So great stuff to him taking game one. He is the closer. He is the closer. And it started out. It started out with him down an entire stock. It just took a. Yeah. It took a while for him to figure out how he was going to get in on this man. And then once he figured it out, it's Kearns. Exactly. We do get the counter pick of Samuel now, though. Just going to go to the same stage, but the music will be different. That's the most important part. What's he picking? What's he picking? Celestial Valley. I am unaware of which game this is from. It's Kirby, it's but Kirby. I'm like, but I'm like, but which one? Every single Kirby game has a space zone. I think it's like the space classics. Zone? It's like how Mario has like. I've never played like a Kirby game. I mean, what? Cares, but I mean, I've never really played like, I don't, or I think I have. Can you but. call yourself a real gamer? 
Uh, no. Not like the Why two people that we have on our screen right now. Exactly. These are the real Speaking gamers. of the gamers, <laughs> real two gamers. of the best gamers you'll see here at mm -hmm. this international tournament. Very stacked as well. Um, you know, we re really tried to embody sort of an invitational um, and bring the coolest players we possibly could to this event. So, When you think about invitationals normally like Summit, it's usually, you know, they try and get oh, the no. top of the top players in and then have a couple voting people. I feel like what's different about Cafeteria Cup is that we have people from all walks of life. There's all types of skill bases here. It's not just, you know, your top 10 players in the world going at it. It's your, we have people all across the top 100. So internationally, it's insane. Player base wise, it's insane. We're gonna see a lot of fun matches here today. But first, we're gonna see if Kara get in on the shield. Really doing well with the shield pressure at the moment. Not getting punished too much for just pressing buttons. Exactly, man. You gotta love it, man. Oh, oh, is, is he gonna lead into anything or? Never mind. Tatsumaki Senpuken. Mm hmm. Spin around. Exactly. Trying to throw out these Hadoukens as well, but it's a bit hard to catch Steve. Sammy doing a great job of getting around to Kara right now. Just really wants to have these resource bar up. Oh, oh, oh. Extension on the block? Oh, no. <laughs> Takara's classic up airs didn't close out a stock there. Wasn't able to keep that one going, but he's still running around. Catches Samuel with disadvantage. Does the short show as well, so it's less punishable. Oh, oh not able to catch air dodge. Yeah, very nice, very catch. nice. Man, Takara's so cool. That's what I'm saying. Samuel's like trying his best to get around this man, know. but Takara just keeps finding ways in. What an option! <laughs> okay, but, but unfortunately... Uh, that was like five layers yeah, of RPS. I was, like, I was like, okay, well, I mean... Takara hit the block, which made Samuel want to hit him, which is why Takara focused, but then Samuel spot dodged the focus attack and got an up smash. It was beautiful. Oh, wow. It was beautiful. Yeah. Smash Bros, man. Mm -hmm. These players are all reacting to the others right now. Samuel just trying to react to Takara, coming back down to the ground, but the movement that he has with the focus, it's tough for Samuel right now. He doesn't have any tool in his hand. He's not able to mine more resources at enough speed. He really wants to take this stock before he, you know, Goes any higher percent. You're already 111. You know one Troy you would do it. You don't want to waste your diamond now. But much, can you take the stock? Yeah, much like the player he's playing against right now, Samuel definitely has to focus up going into this next game. Ooh. Back air though. Is. So this is good though for Samuel at least, because now he gets to build this diamond. He's been he was holding on to that one for the entire stock, and he has another one in the pocket just in case he needs it. Gets the footstool as well, and we're evened up. But is it really even when Steve has diamond? Is it really even? Million dollar question. Speaking of money, Steve definitely got it with all the mining he's doing. Gold and diamond already in the reserves. Yep, keep up tilting, my goat. Yep, don't matter. So many fresh tools on him right now, Takara. You know, he's been keeping the pressure on as much as he can, but Simon still finds these moments to mine. Yeah. Gets the back air falling down from the platform as well. Really good way to catch Takara running in. TNT set up. What are we going to make of it? What a setup there. Using the F smash to send it into the sky. Takara getting caught by it. I honestly, at low key, I thought he died, bro. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, wait, wait. Did Takara really die? But fortunately, Steve, not that good. Contrary to popular. Yeah, I'm going to need to buff that TNT real quick. Wow. What? I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> Definitely wasn't a combo with Takara. Just able to call out Samuel for, yeah, not wanting to air dodge. Because he would, probably would have felt in that position. If I air dodge, Takara's going to follow me. So I'm just going to sit here. And then uh, Takara's like, I right, get back aired, son. That was enough to take it. Wait, that back air took the stock as well. Takara going off I've the top. I've never seen that. Of course, he just playing my game. He's getting in. Blocks are there. Just setting him up in case he gets hit to the side. He'll be able to take off of them if Takara doesn't hit in the right direction. Getting these parries as well. Simon's in lock right now. Just needs to start this combo. Was able to get the up tilt. Everything is going wrong for him at the moment. He's only getting these one hits. One, two, three, though. So matey. 61% already on Takara. His last stock right now. Mm. Obviously has the game to play with, but I mean, if I'm Takara right now, I'm trying to close this out as soon as possible. Right? Not yeah, yet no, enough. Not yet. That would be so unfortunate for Samuel that he was building his diamond like he thought he could do. I'm like, I'm on a low enough percent that even if Takara gets the punish, I'm not going to oh, die, oh, right? Oh. You're gonna die for that one, though, so. That's another fist. Damn. Straight to the face. This camera was a lot. I saw the I saw the setup that we have with the cameras there. There's no like official stands. They're just like resting on like books and cables. Yeah, no, no. I, I think literally one of them is resting on a diary of the one kid I found in the main head Tio's locker. I mean, lot his locker is closet. The uh, the monitor that we have right now, it's propped up by a book, a beautiful book. No, it's a Dark Souls PlayStation Three. Yeah. <laughs> Where really? This this is a high budget, high stakes. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's a house tournament, man. You exactly. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. I love the feel. I love the vibe. 
I hope you guys are loving the vibe too as we go into this game three. Takara Samuel. It's been close all the way through. It's just Takara who's been able to find the stocks in those last two situations, getting his down tilts where he needs them, confirming into the Shoryu. It's really nice that he has these easy kills, but Steve got him as well. You just gotta find our puck. Exactly. Showcasing what makes him such a formidable player. But speaking of formidable players, Samuel bringing the heat. Wasn't able to close out that combo there, but you saw the extensions. He was jabbing into those forwards there, juggling to carry around the stage. Just a matter of closing it out that really hasn't come out just yet. Gets the up tilt though, <laughs> trying to juggle him again, but just misses with that forward air. Ooh, scary. Oh, reads the jump. Good stuff from Samuel. Still on lock here to carry air, dodging in. <laughs> Where'd he get that one from? That's not a Japanese air, don't try. Watch. Oh, Samuel spam F smash. <gasps> he did it! Okay, I said it after he did it though. But uh, I, I'm gonna say he did it as he did it. Bro. F smash again. Back air. Don't need right, it when you got the bear. Oh, is he trying to. Yeah. Might not be the best time. I'm glad he didn't make that timing because it looked almost like <laughs> Takara was gonna take the stock off him now. Oh, went for the soul read. Damn, sure you to catch him from coming down on that anvil. Not bad from Takara. Yeah. And now he's got diamond. 100% on Steve though. Let's mm -hmm. see if Takara can close this out. Obviously, Ken, very good at killing uh, characters. So we'll see if he can pull through or not. Ooh. But oh, Samuel! Oh my gosh! Up two stocks to one. At an absolute insurmountable lead right now. Our resource bar is hella full. Our diamonds are yep. on lock. Not oh. even able to get the kill oh. with the back air. Samuel able to low get battery, the attack. Low battery as no. well. You better hope that the character's control is not. Yeah, that's just a solid three star. What an answer wow. from Samuel in game three. Yeah. He back, bro. I dropped my tongue some cute. After losing both of those last two games in the fashion of, you know, taking it down to last hit and Takara was just the one who was able to confirm the stocks, once Samuel had, like, a good enough lead and good enough resources, he was insurmountable. He had everything in his pockets. But now it's Takara's turn to have his counter picks. <laughs> Let's see what he makes of it. There's Dice Guy. I was waving at Dice Guy for, like, <laughs> for, like, for like, 15 seconds and he didn't notice at all. He'll catch up eventually, I'm yeah. sure. Anyways, Samuel. Samuel. Looking hot. Is that a, do you think that's his real name? What if his tag is just Samuel? And I think his, his name's like David or something. Yeah, his real name is David. <laughs> I just really like the name Samuel. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Really like it the Steve too as well. Closing out the last one of the three stocks. So let's see what Takara's going to make with the adaptation here. Massive combo. Yeah. 55% just straight up, bro. Mm hmm. Yep, keep up tilting. That's all you need to do to Takara trying to come in. These F smashes have been the game changer, you know. Before, in the last two matches, wasn't really throwing them out as much, but now we're really finding the points where we can call out Takara with these strong moves. Ooh, yeah. Good stuff from both of these players right now. Takara, though, kind of has... Oh, oh, parry? Damn, had the parry, but didn't want to get hit by the falling hitbox there. Yeah. So he didn't commit to any sort of punish. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. That's oh, a scary the one. The focus bait, did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Just the focus into dash out is so good from Takara. You know? <laughs> Samuel probably thinking, like, maybe I can get a hit on him here, but we're moving around. So <laughs> one good thing about Takara in this matchup is that he does have that movement, but it doesn't matter how much you move when Steve can just oh, no. run you with TNT, these. Oh, no, TNT, just straight up. There, there he goes. Hits him. Yeah. Good stuff for Samuel. Oh, but shield break? Push him off? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, yep, even yep, if he yep. didn't push him off there, was able to get the F smash if he needed, but it's kind of nice when you get that little exactly. push off. It looks kind of cute. Yeah, it's really funny. Both of these characters are very funny, I'm not going to lie. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're still... Oh. Oh my gosh, Samuel with the up tilts right now gets 44% on Ken. Oh my god, try to punish him with the dash attack, but let's see if Ken can get a good combo going right now. Oh, landing there, up tilts. Let's go. 51%. Looking good for Takara. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I respect it, I respect it. Oh, managed to punish him with the down air, though. Oh, did you see that? You gotta be able to punish soul this. Reeled, yeah. He just keeps going for him. And you know what? I don't blame him for it. There's not that much end lag on the Steve F smash, so sometimes you can't just throw it out if you, if you need. But obviously, mean, especially H, when you're Because you're going to need help to care a gut. <laughs> Finishing out this game, let's see if you got it in you. Sure I, because best. I am the one who's going to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> We're going to get the. Because Samuel is the one. He said, I am the one who's going to take this game. Mm -hmm. Samuel also. Samuel is bottom seed in this tournament. Real? Yeah. Like, with all due respect. Samuel's a great player and all, but like, we don't see him bring the heat compared to these other players here. And the fact that he is, he's 2-1 on, on Takara. He has a, a he's take, making it really close to Takara. I mean, his one game that he had was a three-stock. Let's not forget that. Yeah. 
has a bit of a deficit here, but what a setup from the blocks there, Takara. Trying to recover with the side B, but wasn't able to grab the ledge because the blocks were there. He used to continue to do the side B as if he was normally on stage. Like, that's how the game was programmed. You have to wonder if, like, Samuel intended that. And if he did, that was genius. Yeah, Diamond Steve, though, managed to rack up 45% on Ken. Up tilt. Mm -hmm. Oh, TNT, TNT, that's about to explode, bro. Oh, no. <gasps> here comes Takara, not oh. able to get his spike. Samuel have a second lease of life here. Oh, what no. is he going to make of it? Escaping from the Shroyu. We're still alive. Don't panic just yet. Might be able to bring this one to a game five if we keep this one on lock. But no, the back air comes out. It's going to be Takara sealing this one away. 3-1. Good stuff from Takara. Man, I'm not trying to fight on the street that he's on. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. I Can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> I can. If I'm being perfectly honest, I want to believe it. <laughs> But I thought Sammy, I thought I always thought we were really going to see a game five after after hello after what we saw in uh, <laughs> after what we saw in the other one it'll be fine.